Do you want to become a real estate investor? Well, stay tuned. I got good tips on how to get started. Ah, let's sit back, enjoy the passive income off of all these real estate properties and chill on a Caribbean island overlooking the blue waters with our ass in the sand to drink in the hand and just enjoy passive income at its best. What's up everybody, Steve at Steve Invest, helping people grow their wealth with a path toward financial freedom. All right, first tip I got is figure out where you geographically want to invest. If you're just starting out and, and you're new to investing in real estate, I highly recommend you concentrate on investing where you live in the general area of where you guys live. Uh, because I can tell you, if you guys do take this first step and you you invest that's you know hours from you or even states away um, and it's not properly managed, it's just gonna be a big headache for you guys. Number two, determine if you guys want to be a landlord. I can tell you, I'm a local real estate broker in, in uh, South Florida, and we've sold a lot of properties to people that wanted to invest in real estate and they wanted to manage the properties themselves, only to find out a year or two years later they were distraught. They wound up, you know, ended up giving us a call to list the properties and, and getting them off the books and basically selling them because they just felt that being a landlord was not their cup of tea. They really didn't enjoy it. And that leads me into number three. Determine who who's going to be leasing and doing the property management of the properties. If it's going to be you guys, then great. If you're just starting out, a little tip that I might suggest is maybe you can go and work part time for a, a property management company to kind of learn the process. Um, if, if that's not achievable or not possible, maybe you could just shadow somebody for free on the weekends or whenever you have time off of your job. But uh, you're going to want to really learn the process of you know property management and leasing. Um, if you guys are going to outsource that, then you guys start interviewing companies right now um, who are local in your market that have a good reputa reputation. Uh, the, the best rates in terms of uh, what they charge is not necessarily the best deal. You wanna make sure that you guys are hiring the right people uh, that are gonna basically take care of your property as if it is their own. I can tell you, um, back when, when I started investing in vacation rental properties, um, it, it, it was a completely different category than your annual leases and I was doing it myself initially and it just became overwhelming and I really didn't have the time for it, you know, dealing with the check-ins, check-outs, the bookings, the maintenance associated with it. So I ended up hiring a vacation rental uh, management company that we aligned ourselves with and I'm so glad that we did it um, because now I'm hands off and you know they just deposit money into my bank account every single month. Number four, determine what type of real estate you guys are going to be investing in. There's a lot of property out there. It's not just single family homes but you know, you guys might niche out in the condo market. You might niche out in small multifamily, maybe larger apartment complexes, uh, maybe mobile home parks. Um, there's also a, a wide variety of commercial real estate like strip centers and warehouses. So I highly recommend that you guys figure out what type of real estate you guys wanna invest in. And then once you have an idea of the type of real estate, then go all in, search and research everything about that type of product and learn everything you possibly can also, if you don't own any real estate right now, I highly recommend that you guys watch this video on how to buy your first property and live mortgage free. Number five, and probably one of the most important is taking action and going out and looking at properties. Set up a set schedule where you're going out and looking at so many properties every single week and analyze the properties. I get it, you might not have any of the money, you don't know how you're gonna put the deal together, that's fine. But you gotta go out and start looking at the properties, start educating yourself, call real estate agents, uh, driving neighborhoods, call owners, and start looking at these properties and analyzing the deals to help educate yourself on um, whether it's a good deal or a bad deal. Number six, and to tie in with the last one, you gotta analyze these properties and know your numbers. You're gonna need to know current market rent values. Um, you're gonna have to really study profit and loss statements. That's your income minus your expenses to make sure that it is a good deal or where you need to buy at. Um, you're gonna have to research the sold comparables of properties, make sure you're not overpaying for properties. Um, you're also gonna research, is there any value add? What can you add to the property to make to generate more income? If it's a, if it's a single family house, and it's rented out or the rents below market or if it's a larger project and you can add a fitness center or a pool can that drive up rents 
um, in, in an apartment complex, for example. Number seven, how can you get the deal funded? Many times you do not need to use your own money. Talk to a small bank, see if the small banks would actually allow a seller second mortgage um, where they basically control the down payment on it. Uh, maybe you have friends and family that trust you and rely on your judgment that you can bring into the deal. If you guys are finding the right deals over time, money is not gonna be a problem uh, because people are just gonna start throwing money at you because you are giving them a return on their investment. And number eight, I touched on this a little bit. If you guys are going to self-manage, manage your own real estate, you guys have to get schooled in the business of screening tenants, how to market for tenants, and figure out the proper way of getting good quality tenants in your properties. Because at the end of the day, and I've been there, it can be disastrous if you get the wrong people in your properties and you have to go through eviction process. And a lot of times those people don't take care of the property. So you're, not only are you evicting people, but you're going into the properties and you're cleaning them up and you're repainting and you're ripping carpet out and it becomes a disaster so it's important to make sure that you guys really understand everything that's associated with property management as always I appreciate you guys supporting this channel if you guys do want to learn more about some of the different types of real estate investments where I go a little bit more into detail on these um, I'll drop a couple in the links below as well for you guys to check out appreciate the support thanks a lot